training a bit? What's the work after that fall to you? Yeah, it was uh, it's hard to explain. But, you know, the boys were out there and they were throwing their backsides off and they did really well for 75 minutes and, and that last five minutes is uh, you know, something I'd like to forget. But, you know, in the end, it, uh, it's not, uh, not going to not gonna decide a position, uh, sorry, our place in the eight, but it could be uh, our position in the eight. I just feel really sorry for the boys. They put in a big effort and uh, didn't come away for the two points. Did you think he did get much wrong in that final two minutes, or was it just it was just the rush of the game and they just they had more to play for in the last two minutes? Oh, I think of course we did a few things wrong. We probably could have kicked better in the last twenty minutes, um, but you know they had a bit of momentum, a couple of sets, repeat sets, and um, you know they had the momentum. But you know in the end we should have just defended. They scored two tries off tackle five, the try into the post, and then the last one. You know we. You know, coming up in the big games ahead, we need to defend those things. Is that the thing you, you, you take from this game that you are going to play some bigger games and that's what you've got to harp on the players? That the games will get bigger and more attention you're going to play out? Yeah, well, there's going to be. It was pretty frantic that second half and it was, it was a pretty good game, I thought. So, um, you know, going in the semi final series, that's what we want. We know we can p compete with sides like Melbourne. Um, you know, to be fair, we should probably should have won. Paul, was there anything to sort of out there in the last five minutes, or was it just a bit of organisation? What went wrong in the last five minutes? Oh, yeah, look, I, I don't know. It was just, um, yeah, probably a couple of times, like Shane said, we, we kicked dead and you know, give them opportunities to uh, come back and have a quick 20 minute restart. That one with about four or five to go, probably should have drove it into touch and, and started our set from 10 metres out. But they had a quick quick 20 metre restart and they charged up the field, and then it was pretty ordinary defence, fifth tackle, went right off and scored. That was probably the you know, the, the worst thing of the game, that, that try and um, that last set of six, you know, that was just one of those times, you know, how many times you see it when teams are just throwing it around and sometimes the passes stick, sometimes they don't and they managed to get 100 yards on us and, you know, that last play, we, we probably still should have stopped it, it was still man on man. And, you know, the biggest thing for us is we have to learn from it, they're a quality side who have played semi-final football for a long time and we haven't and all our players have to learn from it and get better, better next week. Do you walk away happy with the first semi-final though? Oh, look, we can definitely take some positives out of it. There's no point, you know, carrying on too much about it. You know, Shane already said in there, take positives out of it and uh, move on to next week. It fortunately doesn't really affect our spot on the table yet. You know, we still have to win next week to ensure we get a home semi-final, depending on other results. So it would have been nice to secure it this week, but uh, we didn't. And, you know, we just have to yeah, take some positives and, and learn from that last five minutes. And, um, you know, hopefully going into semi-final football, we can learn from it. And, you know, the game goes for 80 minutes, not 75, and that's what we have to we have to learn. You mentioned you haven't got a lot of, you know, you've got to play a few players who haven't got a lot of semi-final experience. How much do you think this will help them, and how much confidence have you got in them that they can play well when it has? Well, I think everyone showed that, you know, they, like we said, they're, they're one of the top two teams in the comm. They've got some great players. They've all played semi-final football. We more than matched them um, in, in most areas, uh, except for that last few minutes. Um, we, we switched off for you know, two tackle fives, which is pretty... Uh, a bit ordinary on our behalf, but it took some, they scored two tries off kicks, um, you know, so they didn't break our line too often. And uh, that's the sort of defence you need in semi-final football. We just have to clean a couple of things up.